Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome back to RimWorld. We are down to nine days on our reactor startup, so we're getting there, almost halfway. Um, we had a lot of visitors last time. Several sieges, which are not too bad with Devastator Mortars. Um, we had some other guys kind of come in for some flavor. I actually validated my anti-sapper um, area down here. That actually worked out pretty nicely. And we got to use a Doomsday Rocket Launcher, so that was pretty great. Um, what else is going on? Dakota has gut worms, so I've decided that the best thing to do is just to give her a new stomach. So I've got that queued up here, so someone will be with that shortly. Um, Eden, you're making a helmet. Why are you making a helmet? Oh, right, because this does not take, um, yeah, this doesn't take these advanced helmets into account. Well, whatever. Go ahead and work on them, then they'll just be sitting around whenever people need them. They'll get taken care of. Um, anything else we need to work on? Not really. We're turning off most of these drills. I'm leaving the plasteel one going just in case, I don't know, suddenly we need more than 1,500 plasteel. Uh, we shouldn't. That's rather a lot of plasteel. Um, it just gives Wirt something to do. Although, actually, you know what? There's really no reason for you to be using those. Just go ahead and turn it off. There's other things you can be doing. You've made a legendary simple helmet. Wow. Okay. Well done, Eden. I'm very proud. Oh yeah, someone needs to come turn that on, please. Make that stomach and then we can go ahead and we can fix up Dakota permanently. Otherwise, things are going pretty well. Um, I went and unforbade just the steel around and then a couple of corpses. Um, what I want to do is just have enough resources around that I can rebuild things as necessary. Um, I do have all the guns topped back off, or they will be topped back off here momentarily. Even if that's a waste of steel, I just want to be 100% ready. So, you've decided to stand in the middle of all these bodies. Okay, alright. I've been trying not to set too many bodies to haul. I was really hoping that it wouldn't be you guys doing this. Um, I'm just trying to take care of the ones that people are going to see, because they're going to be so close. So, yeah, that may have not been the best choice, unfortunately. That's not looking like that was the best choice at all. Okay, stomach one is done. This is by far the easiest way to deal with gut worms. One at a time, I'm just going to replace all your stomachs. Okay, you're sleeping, but I have bad news. I need you to come burn some bodies. At least some of the bodies. Starvation, yep, yep, yep. Food binge, okay, whatever. So much for my clever plan there, burning all those corpses. Now, both of my people with uh, Molotovs are having breaks. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. So, Carries is someone from uh, Blue Moon that actually got into a fight with some of the raiders, and we went and brought her back in and got her patched up, so we'll get some rep from that. That's nice, I just want to make sure that uh, Blue Moon stays friendly to us, because they are extremely unpleasant. Yeah, all the plants are dying, but I don't care. Okay, welcome back, Virgil. So now you should be a little happier. Yep, come on up here. Alright, good enough. And I just saw the synthetic stomach go by. So, Dakota, good news. New stomach. Much easier to deal with. So go ahead and come rest in a good bed, and then I will have somebody come deal with you. I don't even know, Aaron, I don't even know what your percentage is. Oh, I can just let any of you basically install that stomach. Okay, no problem then. Please just don't set yourselves on fire as you go past all the burning corpses. Ooh, I may have missed one. Is that one gonna go? Let's take a look at it. Come on. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Okay, good. Now we're set. No problem. Yeah, and starvation and stuff I think is just Nate. Nate's been crazy for kind of a while. Nate needs to uh, get himself together because we may, we may uh, need his help. There. We <laughs> Speaking of which, welcome back. Ta-da! No more gut worms. And I suppose at this point, if I wanted to, I could even start breaking down the rest of these mechanoids. I'd actually prefer they burn, come to think of it. We don't need them for anything. You know what? Let's just do that. If someone's got some time here, let's clear some home area. And let's just come get rid of them. I've been kind of holding on to them just in case I needed them, but you know, I really don't. Virgil, you just get to burn some mechanoids. This will be way easier than last time. Trust me. These are just mechanoids that have been here so long, they should practically be paying me rent. Oh, do they not burn? Oh, they don't burn because they're on the mud. Oh, for crying out loud. I forgot. Okay, that's my fault. Huh. Well. Alright. Just go ahead and chop them up. Whatever. At least then they're all stacked up. 
Okay, and then let's hollow a bunch of this wax outside too and we'll get all that burned and taken care of and a lot of space cleared out. Alright, and we've got a raid. Um, separate sappers, that's not ideal. Okay. Okay, we should be able to handle this though. Um, alright, people, come grab the mortars, right now. One, and two, and three. Come grab those. Let's see here. And we've got one mortar for each group then. I don't I don't love this, um, but let's get everybody back inside. Animals come back on into the base. Everybody else come back on into the base. We should be okay. And I'll keep tabs of down here. That should be where they go to. Hopefully. Okay, let's see how they've settled out here. So, no holding fire. Set your force target. It's gonna be over here somewhere. Who are they following? They're following you. But that's not where I want you to go. Okay, let's set all these to not hold fire, because otherwise I will forget. So, you. Go ahead and just kind of grab someone in the middle of this group. It doesn't really matter where, because these have a pretty good spread. And you are going to be working on these guys. Just shoot wherever again. The idea is just to soften them up before they get up here a little closer. And then there's actually quite a few of you up here. Ugh. All right. Well, fire away as quick as you possibly can. Okay, there's one group going off. I think I may not have led that top one fast enough. Yeah. Well, I got a couple. That's probably gonna be everything I get then. Yeah. These take too long to charge. Okay, so everybody else. Um, come on down here. I'm hoping that they come through this door. They should. They definitely should. But that doesn't mean that they will. They're digging a marble door. Yep, that should be this one. Okay, good. Okay, well, in that case, let's start getting people out here. Um, lefty. And then, who actually has charge rifles? You're going to be the ones that I want here for unarmored targets. Or rather, I want to go heavy on charge rifles. I don't need to exclusively have char charge rifles. It's just better. They do a little more damage. Yes, I'm aware I'm zoomed in and not paying attention to what's going on. And I've got one extra person, so just go ahead and stay there. Alright, so where are the rest of my sappers going? Um, still coming down here. And... Still going somewhere towards the marble door. Okay, and how are my turrets going? Actually, I may get another round off with my turrets. No, that's not wise. I shouldn't do it. Yeah... Uh, no... That's so tempting. They're so close. Can we get these guys on the way in? They're not close enough yet to my roofs. Oh, look at them all. They're right there, though. Come on. Just how can you say no to such a beautiful setup, right? Okay, was that a good idea? No. It was not. But it was really, really funny. Hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I did, because I found that quite entertaining. Okay, this is... Okay, we're going to have to... Um, let's get everybody out here. And then we need to focus fire, guys. Just keep working on it. It doesn't even matter who. Just let Lefty do what it is he does best. The important part is, is that we need to focus and get as many down one at a time as we can. There we go. There we go. Do whatever you want now. Okay, good. And here comes our next group. Same thing. One. <laughs> I mean, mm, yes. Man, that was so much fun. Oh, God. Uh, stop forced attack. Hold fire. Are these recharged? That's kind of what I was waiting for. Nope, not yet. Yeah, this is definitely the easy way to do sappers. All right. Thank you. Come again. And let's go ahead and let's set you to finish off. And then we will unrestrict... Ah, uh, once again, what a hassle. You know, it's still not raining. So... I could just go ahead and burn you guys in here. And that might be the easy way to do it. Well, it's definitely the easy way to do it. Well, that reminds me that this needs to be home area again. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. Yeah, let's do that. Virgil, um, since you're here, come here.
Where are you going? Oh, nowhere. That's where. Isn't this so much easier than just finishing them off? Just set them on fire, right? And then move on with your day. This is way easier. Hey, you think you're unhappy now? Give it just a few seconds here. I'll show you what that really means. Yeah, that was actually surprisingly tricky in its own way. But, hopefully most of you guys will burn out then, literally. Yeah, see, this isn't spreading well to the living ones. Really, I thought that would spread to you guys. But it looks like it would have had to hit you directly, huh? Well. Alright, let's let everything else burn out down there, and then I'll let all the animals and everyone out. We can go repair things. Lefty, how are you doing, man? Awesome. You took a crack and two bruises. <laughs> out of an entire tribal raid. Well done. Well done indeed. Yeah, the living guys aren't catching on fire. Huh. That's mildly annoying. I should have killed them first. Oh, we're having a raid. That's what's going on here. Oh, look. It's sappers. Again. Seriously? Ooh. Ugh. Okay. Don't hold fire. Set force targets down here somewhere in the middle. Oh, come on. Launch, launch, launch. I counted that out, that was literally one frame per four seconds for that little battle. So, that worked well. Thanks, guys. Clear your force target again. Are you guys too unhappy? Yeah, you kind of are. Or not here, yeah, go do something else. Um, go do something else. Go do something else. Who's happy? Kitch, you're happy. Sorry. Eden, you're happy. Sorry. Virgil, you're also happy. Sorry. We'll let those fires burn out. That was really easy. Animal spores allergy from Waffle. Okay. Actually, this fire is going to consume them all, as long as it doesn't rain. Which it shouldn't. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I'm just about ready to go ahead and make that part of the home zone again. Oh, this is, this is ideal. These stupid tribals, man, I tell ya. Okay, are these all ready yet? Yes. So go ahead and go do whatever it was you were doing, which is probably sleeping, and I'm sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and let's reset our home zone as such, and let's go ahead and let's unrestrict everybody, and let's unrestrict the animals. Let's unforbid the corpses so we don't have to deal with them, and I think that's all we need to do. And you guys should burn out nicely. Oh yeah, perfect. Cool. Well, this is going well so far. I'm happy. And what are these walls supposed to be? Slate, it looks like. And we are fine with slate, I believe. So go ahead and get that rebuilt. Or, or you know, clean. That's fine, too. You know, whatever. Whatever you think is easiest. How about you haul this corpse? Oh, someone's coming to get it. Grim is coming to get it? No, 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 no. Grim has better things to do. Like building walls. Lewis... If you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Oh, here we go. And we have a raid. Yep. I think we're going to keep getting the same thing, to be perfectly honest. Because it's only the tribes people that hate us. So, yeah. Alright. Same thing. Mortars. Come on back inside. Restrict. Come on back inside. A lot of endgame defense is very similar. <laughs> you just end up doing kind of the same things, because the AI keeps doing the same things. Um, Eden, you're the closest, I suppose. And the three of these, let's hold fire temporarily. Let's wait till everyone gets inside. And pick our target. Okay. So go ahead and shoot here. And you should catch a whole bunch of them as they come by then. Here they come. Yeah, that worked pretty well. And just go ahead and keep mortaring them. Actually, it's still not raining, so let's set the three of these to stop force attack. Just let them recharge. Um, Virgil, looks like you came up in eight, so come here. Let's come get rid of these guys. 
Yeah, they certainly don't last long these days. Tribals trying to invade us. What are you thinking? Like that's ever going to work. Have you looked at our defenses? You looked at that and you went, hmm, you know what? Vulcan turrets, uh, let's see here, Devastator Mortars, and I've got a particularly dull knife. I think we can do this. Um, yeah, I've got a wooden hat. No problem here. Here comes a guy trying to run away. You can kill if- Oh, good god! I thought these were set to hold fire or something. <laughs> uh. Oh, of course, you attacked him because he got up. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, that was scarier than it needed to be, in my mind. <laughs> oh, just another step or two in Virgil, it just would have been, like, he would have evaporated. There would have been nothing left. That happened to one of my favorite colonists a couple series back. Oh, crap. Something's happening again already. A siege. Okay, well, we can deal with that in just a second here. Go ahead and get that taken care of. All right, come on back in. And I don't believe I've reassigned anything. No. Okay, Siege, where are you at? Man, I'm killing so many. Oh, man. Really? You're going to do this to me? All right. This is your choice, not mine. All right. All right. Come and get settled in. Visitors, yeah. I wouldn't come here if I were you. This is not a good time. All right, here's your stuff. And screw that guy in particular. Here we go. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's kind of the way it goes these days. Ah, uh, hold fire. The Devastator Mortars do make things pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I should just stop using those. Those might be a better idea. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'd be doing something similar with the chemical mortars. It's just that they would have a chance then to run up and possibly even attack us, as opposed to what they do now, which is absolutely nothing. I wonder if I should do that, actually. You know what? I think I'm gonna. Well, let's get four mortars made, though, just for the heck of it. And let's get our number of explosive shells increased then. This should be, let's put this at 25. And at 20, and let's go ahead and let's unpause this so that you work your way up to 25. Actually, that may not even be enough. Yeah, let's go 30. Okay. And I'm making some extra stomachs as well. So I've got one of each body part at the moment. I've got an eye, arm, and a leg. And I'm going to make two fancy stomachs, actually. So the next two people that get worms get fancy stomachs. And down here burned out, there's basically no evidence there was ever a raid. That's hilarious. That's the one good thing about this cold snap, and or it being winter, is that this kind of a thing is happening. And I can just basically ignore them. They'll burn away and take care of all their wealth. Is there cool stuff up here? Probably. But this is much safer. Much, much safer. Oh yeah, I suppose I could let everyone go. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go, thank you. And then there's this thing in here. 26%, and that has been failing for, like, weeks. I say the name wrong, and I know that. I think it's something closer to, like, Kisune, rather than Kitsune, which is what I say, which is wrong. Okay, we've got another raid. Oh, no. Okay, just an autosave. Um, it's been in there eating my kibble for a very long time, and is just refusing to join the winning team, and quite frankly, I'm not real happy about that. Oh, is this stuff gonna burn out? <laughs> Well, maybe not. Okay, come on up here then. We'll we'll encourage them to burn. Some survival meals and stuff up here, I guess you guys could come get. Those are breaking down, so that's not ideal, but you know we can always use survival meals. If you know you have a chance to pick them up before I set them on fire. Which is not at all oops, that's steel. Well whatever. In fact, why don't you go ahead and... Oh, we can't even haul them. There's no space for them. Okay, whatever. Is that my whole shelf out here full of survival meals? Wow, I do have a lot of survival meals, don't I? I have 81. Huh. Okay. 
Yeah, and I've got drilling turned off and everything. Waffle was sick. How was Waffle doing? Spores allergy, 33%. Alright. That doesn't seem to do anything bad, but that doesn't justify not just taking care of it. Morty, man, what are you up to? Resting. Can you actually come finish this quick? There's only 78 left on it. May not be ideal. You are pretty tired. But that's okay. Ooh, exotic goods. Hey, this could be fun. We can get rid of all this stupid money that we have. That I haven't been hauling in from raids because I don't want it. Even though it counts against me because it's on the map. Uh, actually, you know what, man? Go ahead and work on that tomorrow. There's no rush. That's the second one. I'll leave you alone. Sorry about that. And Wirt, you're going to be out here talking for us. You're currently dealing with some heal That's fine. It's 50 out. Ah, it started raining again. That's too bad. I was enjoying the easy mode raid removal. Where is the... Oh, there they are. Okay. Um, just come trade with them down here. Whenever you get to them is fine. Oh, you're right here. Never mind. Alright, let's see what the story is to you guys. So there's actually very little I can do with these guys. I can buy a chinchilla, which I don't want. Um, I don't have any Yayo made. Um, I don't have enough Lucy. I'm comfortable selling it. We're good on advanced components. Um, there's a healer mech serum, but I can just make those. Well, I can just buy one, I suppose. I'm buying a cause. Yep, that's all ours. Blah, blah, blah. Synthetic heart. I can just make my own. Smile it on fangs. Like, that's actually about all that we want. Like, you're not actually the most useful traders of all time. And where did that part go? Is it just hidden behind something? Almost certainly a pelt trader. There it is. Okay, good. Huh, cool. We can buy some pelts. It sucks because we have a lot of junk that I really don't want, but I can't get rid of because I can't sell it, you know, without breaking the rules. So, alas. Are you the pelt trader? No, you're just taking your time. Pelt trader. Where is the pelt trader? Actually, let's start... Let's see here. Yeah, let's just allow the silver. I mean, it's getting counted against us anyway, so we may as well just bring it in. Fine. Whatever. Maybe we can use it to buy some pelts. Hooray. And in case you were wondering about the exciting conclusion of what happened with the pelt trader, uh, they bought a couple of Yayo. Yay. Thanks, guys. Hey, we successfully tamed our animal. Yay! Um, what should we name you? There we go. Fantastic. Um, we can train you to haul. There's no real reason to keep you out of crypto sleep at the moment, but that's not a big deal. Um, you can just go into animals. Fine. Oh, that took forever. A combat supplier from Blue Moon. Ooh, this might be interesting. So I decided to pave in, like, basically everything in the base. I put tile in here for some reason. Um, I'm putting concrete out here for some reason. This isn't even putting a dent in our steel supplies. I did set some of the steel slag to be pulled down here, so that should, um, you know, more than keep us set to go here in terms of steel. So that's why they're all running around doing stuff, because they were getting bored. And this is good. You know, I don't want things to, like, catch on fire. Now this will keep the fires from spreading, at least, if something bad happens. Or slow it down, rather. Because I won't have access to grass or anything nice like that. This isn't floored, is it? Oops. <laughs> I paved right out of the top of my plants. That's exactly what I meant to do. In case you're wondering. Okay, something's happening. A raid. Once again. Okay. This would be a good way to go ahead and get some stuff from this blue moon trader without having to actually deal with them. So I tell you what, let's go and let's take a break. When we come back, I'm going to attack these guys. I think I'm just going to use the chemical mortars. I've got four of them now. Um, so I'll go ahead and use those just to try to make it a little more of a fair fight. But we'll see how that goes. In any case, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.